morning <laughs> and welcome to Connect Up on Saturday the <clears throat> 11th of March. Now the astute amongst you there will have noticed our opening piece of music today was in fact the theme music to Gardener's World and that is because <clears throat> our heading for today's Connect Up is... Hardy Annuals. Ta-da! Nothing to do with gardening but everything <laughs> to do with annual church meetings. Now... Um, we use the word meetings plural, uh, not because we have nine of them, which we do, but because um, when we come together, we have two meetings back to back. We do. So the first meeting is the annual parish meeting, which is open to everybody who lives in the community, irrespective of uh, whether they come to church or not. And the purpose of the meeting is to elect, hopefully, two church wardens. That's then very quickly followed by the annual parochial church meeting, which is open to only to people who are on the church electoral roll. And at that meeting, we receive the annual report, give thanks for what we've been able to do uh, with God's help during the past year, and look forward to God's future in our group of churches. Yeah. Now, at that meeting, uh, we also elect parochial church council members and do other various bits of legal necessity um and that's it basically so uh, we are featuring it today because those meetings are coming uh, down the tracks uh, very quickly and uh, attached to connect up today okay, yep. you will find a church warden's nomination form a pcc member electoral uh, election nomination form and the electoral roll application form now in one way, the last of these is the most important because you can only uh, serve on the PCC, be elected to the PCC, if you are on the electoral roll and you can only uh, be elected to the post of church warden if you are on the electoral roll. I yes. think I've got that right. Now, yeah, have, uh, what we need yeah. you to do uh, is check in each of our churches whether your name is on the electoral roll. These should be being displayed any day now. Yeah. Um, and then if you're not... Do complete a form, an application form for the electoral roll. Uh, it's uh, uh, being on the roll doesn't make you a member of a church because you're already a member of a church by virtue of the fact you come along. So it's church members who can uh, be on the electoral roll. If you see, it's that way around. Does that make sense? It's, it's making perfect, perfect sense. sense. Yeah, yes. definitely. Um, so I think that's about it, really. Yeah. Um, you can so you can either use the application form that's with Connect Up today or. Mm -hmm pick a, an application form for the electoral roll yes. from one of the churches. Yes. Yes. But do check first if your name is already on the roll, because if it is, you don't need to do anything at all, except we would mm. love to see you at the annual church meetings. And if so. you're totally confused, you best email us. Yes. <laughs> I think. I think you're right. Yes. OK, so moving on in today's Connect Up, you will find out first of all about the service that is taking place at nine o'clock today at the beautiful church in Stone in uh, Ebony, uh, Stone in Oxney, um, and that is the object of Lent. Our theme today is the cross and uh, you are very warmly invited to come along at nine this morning for that service, followed by breakfast at 9.30. Excellent. And then, of course, uh, you have the full digest of tomorrow's worship um, across the benefice, our group of nine churches. Um, I think everything you need to know is there. Yes, um, yes. Nothing much to add to that. Um, no. So moving on down to coming down the tracks. <clears throat> yes. So. Still boasting a wintry scene at the top uh, because it is somewhat wintry. Oh, it but is. hopefully we'll be replacing that to reflect the weather in the next few weeks. And it will be all spring and daffodils. Perfect. <clears throat> Good. So we start off with winter, winter lunches. Winter lunches, yes. <clears throat> and obviously it must still be winter because down at Rolfenden tomorrow there is the uh, second and final winter lunch of the season. This will take place in the church. Um, and if you've booked to come along, that will be at 12.30. Bring your own bottle. And, uh, well, Sylvia and her team will do the rest. Yes, so, very yeah. tasty uh, in the offing. Um, so we have Little Sparrows on Monday morning, our parent and toddler group in St Mildred's Church Hall. And that's from 9 till 11 o'clock, isn't it? Is. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. <clears throat> yep. um, a date for your diary, Wednesday the 15th of March, will be the Wednesday Lunch Club in St Mildred's 
church hall four pound light lunch do come along and enjoy the wonderful company that you will get with mary monkton and her team and your fellow diners yes and then in the evening of the 15th in uh, tenterden church sharon francis will be leading the next uh, of her next session uh, next one in her um, series of sessions on christian meditation so that's at six o'clock tenterden church on wednesday now, the Newenden Meadow mm. Restoration Project um, have got a talk that will take place in St Peter's Church in Newenden on Friday, the 24th of March at 7pm. Some very eminent speakers will be along mm. to talk about this particular project and you are very welcome to come along and hear all about um, small changes in small spaces um, to benefit wildlife so particularly interesting evening so do please come along there's going to be a cake stall with lovely cakes and a raffle with great prizes and mm. refreshments and there'll be an expert uh, talking about the work of the commonwealth war graves commission in Tenterton church on the 25th isn't it saturday yep, the 25th after. of yep. march the day after at 10 o'clock 10 30 10 30 oh yes yep. there it is 10 30 Saturday the 25th of March, uh, a talk all about the work of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Commission. That's arranged by the Royal British Legion. Excellent. Now the next men's breakfast is going to uh, also be on Saturday the 25th of March. That will be at 8.15 for an 8.30 start and will take place in the Zion Baptist Church. It's really important if you want to go that you do book your place. Um, It costs £10.00. And Chris Cheeseman's details are in today's Connect Up, and uh, that's who you need to contact it's a cut if you would like to come. It's the 17th of <clears throat> March. Yeah, yeah, so by the 17th okay. of March. Right, and um, from Bacon to Bark. Oh, good. Good, eh? That was uh, very good. Yes, yes. the St John Passion, sung by Sutton Valence Choral Society, intended in church on Saturday the 25th of March. At I think it's seven thirty on seven seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock. Yeah. You'd be late if you listened to me. Mm. Seven o'clock, <laughs> Saturday the twenty fifth of March. The St John Passion by Sutton Valence Choral Society. Tickets are on sale, and uh, you can get those. Uh, well, it'll tell you where you can get them um, in Connect Up this morning. So there's an encouragement to read it. Yes, indeed. Um, there's some information about uh, pie and pint, which uh, if you are male and have been recently bereaved, you would probably find very interesting. So do have a look at that in Connect Up today. Yeah, and then we've got... Um, anniversary talks. Well, the last of the uh, New England anniversary talks. Patrick is, uh, Williams, April the 6th. Thursday. Yes, now he's being interviewed by somebody called... Stephen Barlow. Stephen Barlow, who's married to Joanna Lumley. Yes. And that's in uh, Tenterden Church. No, it no, isn't. It's, it's in New Church. Newenden Church. Let's start and get the church right. New England Church on the... What date was that? <laughs> 6th of April. 6th of April. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, and then, uh, looking at Connect Up to the right of that, so to speak, on the page, the Tenterden Singers Concert at Rolvenden Church on Saturday the 22nd of April, half past seven. Tickets just a tenner and uh, refreshments will be served. Um be nice to see yeah, you there. And yeah, and all proceeds they're going towards uh, the upkeep of Rolvenden oh, Church. Church. Yes. Um, I think I think everything else there we probably mentioned several times we have. before. So I think we can leave you to read the rest of uh, Coming Down the Tracks. Don't forget, when you do have a look at your copy of Connect Up, do click mm. on the links. Um, in there you will find Coming Down the Tracks, which obviously gives you information about forthcoming events. You can also click on a link that takes you into information about forthcoming services in all of our churches. Um, there's also links there that take you to the safeguarding officers for our churches. Um, there's mugshots of the team yeah. <laughs> as well. But the links that you can click on, so the coloured bars really important in taking you to all the extra information um, that uh, we want you to know about so don't forget to have a look at it's probably those. worth saying that we did that because um prior to us doing that uh, the connect up email went on and on and on <laughs> and on and on so we've now condensed a lot of it into the coming down the tracks attachment yeah, that's so right. as Jeanette says just click on the link right to look so we're on to birthdays. Here we are on to birthdays. Now, we've only got one birthday, but we do have also a wedding anniversary. We do, yes. Right, do you want to announce who? Or yes, now the birthday in question belongs to Peter Danks, who's actually 
a great gardener himself. Yes, he so, is. So uh, yeah. today's theme is quite appropriate for Peter. It is, and Peter's birthday is tomorrow, so that's yep. a lovely. Yeah, and then we've got uh, a wedding anniversary, and that belongs to John and Hilary Farthing. And that is on... Uh, we haven't said when it is. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> when it week. is. Yes. <laughs> Got Happy feeling that might be John t- Hillary. tomorrow as well. I think, yeah, something's telling me that that's, <coughs> that is tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, wonderful stuff. So now, we haven't got a fountain candle, but um, what we could do, you could light the big one in the middle, I and can. while you're singing Happy Birthday, I could make the noise. Oh, well, that is I one could. option. <laughs> <laughs> Second thoughts. No, maybe not. Where's um, the banner? That's what I've just gone to get. <clears throat> We'll be in a slight rush today. Oh. Yeah. Amazing how much rushing you can do oh. around by six o'clock in the morning. It is right. True, yes. okay. So we're going to sing. Hang on, I'm going to yawn first. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Three, ready. two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peter, and a very happy wedding anniversary to John and Hilary. Happy birthday, and a very happy wedding anniversary to you. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I hope they have a. We do hope they have a lovely day. Yes, you'll be pleased to know there's probably less than a minute left of our little broadcast today because that piece of music is just 34 seconds long. Yes, so, so <laughs> here we are. Uh, Peter Danks, um, this is for you as well. Uh, yes. Gardener's World Theme. Have yeah. a lovely week, everyone. Hopefully see you at some of the events that are coming up and our services over the next few days. Here we go. Bye-bye. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>